Hey hey, what's up? This is another video from the Messed Up Gamers. And today we will be playing Breach and Clear. A tactical simulator this guy's in the way. Get out of the get out of the way. Yeah, I can't get him out of the way. But this is a tactic simulator about well, think Rainbow Six. That's 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 the closest thing to this game, I feel. So where should we go to first? Afghanistan, Turkey, China. Let's go to Turkey first, and this level. The distinctive green beret used by Army Special Forces originated from uses during World War II under something, something, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so, this is the tactical page. You can choose how you enter. I can enter via a normal method or a shotgun method. The shotgun method is, n is not happening because it's way too freaking loud. I can pick the lock. But I don't have any of them. So we'll and these are the two doors that we can breach here. I'll put Miller, my fire team leader, Paige in my breach on that one, and in my intelligence and direct action on that one. Alright, as you can see, there is a phase one. Basically, this is not quite turn-based, it, it runs in phases. Like you plan your move, then your next move, then your next move. Think door kickers. Well, door kickers is real time. Anyway, so you go. So I'm gonna put him in this. You see the little, the little orange shield right there. That means that he can't be shot in that cover, which is is very, very useful. It's your turn. All right, and then we'll put him there. As you see, there's no shield because obviously there is no cover. Done. And Paige, we take him around to there. See the full shield again. Done. Full cover. And we're gonna take him and aim there. Full shield, good cover. Alright, let's see how this goes. As you can see, my guy's guns are silent, so we will not be detected upon entry. Oh, now we might be, because they were firing a bit. Oh crap, that one's... Is that one dead? Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's definitely dead. Alright, so now we can basically just surround this room. Oh jeez, Thomas is hurt. Alright, Thomas... Uh... Alright, this is your... This is your guys' equipment menu. This is how fast they move. They can move at normal speed. This is how good they move. This is how fast they move, and then you can just have them stay there. And, oh crap. You can have him sprint across the place. He also has grenades. You can use a frag grenade, or this is a, a fire team leader, so he has a med pack. I'm going to have him use that because he is quite hurt. I'm gonna have Rivera go in right there and cover that bit. Consider it done. And I'm gonna have Paige go in there and cover that bit with him. And I'm going to have Miller come in here and cover that bit with him. The last guy will be in here, guaranteed. Okay, basically. Done. Alright, that's the last guy, and he Area is clear. dead, because he was not aware of our presence, because we were using silences. Four stars, mission complete. Let's do a couple more levels. For some reason, my direct action guy is leveling up fast, I don't know. But now these guys are gaining on him a bit. Wait, I unlocked something. Screw it. Alright, so this is the upgrade menu. You can upgrade your soldiers, make them better, etc. Here's how I tend to do this. I tend to go for the accuracy first. Because that will come in handy a lot in the later missions where you're at a bigger distance from the enemies. Alright, like one of these kinds of missions where there's, there's quite larger open spaces. There's one mission later that's an absolute annoyance. Alright, we're gonna breach them all in one door. I don't know how I'll tactically play this, but I've done it before, so see how this goes. If I plonk him there, see? Full shield, full cover. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a bit of a dangerous move for him, because he has to walk across this aisle to get Got there. Alright, and him will plonk there, and he'll cover that entire freaking aisle. And him, we will plonk there, looking that way. Roger. Kick the door Run. in. Silent murdering, silent murdering. Oh, God. Oh. Those guys got, probably got quite hurt. There's one guy down there. 
Jesus. Okay. So put him there. Consider it. Rivera, him. you move up alongside Thomas. Make sure he doesn't get shot in the butt. Roger. Oh no, wait. Our, at the bottom is our front. Okay then. At the bottom is our fire team leader. All right. You Roger. hold your position. You need to move across to there. Let's see how well this goes. Okay, See this big long, this big long distance right there. Oh, we killed him. All right, lovely. That's that mission done. Let's see how long it took. Yeah, yeah. How much? Four stars. That took nine and a half seconds. Now, no, that did take more than nine and a half seconds for this. But um, that is how long they were operating. Oh, I got locked a shotgun. Lovely. But that's for their operation time. So that's the time for um when you actually saw them moving or doing stuff. As you see, I've maxed this, maxed this guy's accuracy out, so now let's max out his reaction time because that'll be very needed in case he gets surprised. Oh, this is the level I was talking about last level. That's an utter annoyance. Basically, put two guys on each door. They still will not be able to shoot inside of this entire room. They will. This room does not have good coverage for them. We can put them there as yes, sir. But the problem is they'll start firing, and I don't yes, necessarily sir. want them to start firing yet. Alright, so we'll plonk him there and he'll look that way. Roger. And Miller will plonk there and just have him plonk up the line. That wasn't even needed. How did we even get in there? Is there any other door? Alright, so we've killed, it looks like, two of their guys. Any of our guys hurt? I think we have a fairly good position right now. Okay. Uh, let's have Thomas just frag their butts there. Got it. Roger. Rivera's good page. Let's have him flash their butts there. Yes, sir. And Miller, you just yes, flash bang out. Frag out. All right, we killed that one. It's turned that one. Target's down. And we killed Area him. Clear. This, this level was harder last time I did it. I don't know when this game came out. Uh, you'll see the links down below for this game, which is it's a very good game. I really recommend getting it. I picked this up as part of a humble bundle, I believe. But it is a lovely game. You can really get it. It is. Awesome. Yeah, see right there. Using those kind of things costs you money. So obviously, throwing that cost me thirty-five dollars, and that cost me ninety dollars. But it's okay. I have four. The, I have four grand. I can afford. Accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Without accuracy, my soldiers are nothing. Oh, this level. Oh, lovely. This is a really fun level. Hold on, I want to see. All right, yeah, A is our best breaching point, I feel, because that gives us a centralized start. Team stacked up. All right, here's our team stacked up. We have Thomas in the front. And of course, being in the front, he'll yes, be the sir. first one to get shot and probably killed. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll just push them up behind him for a bit until I can move them into a better position. Alright, so you see these little ticks. These, like, little white ticks. That's where they'll be at every second in the game. So at second one, they'll be there. Second two, they'll be there and there. Second three, they'll be there and there. Second four, they'll... Um, be there, and he'll be at his position. They'll be there, and he'll be at his position. Alright. So now we beat this door down, we go in, and we shoot the terrorist bot. There's no plot to this game, at least not that I've noticed. You just go and shoot the bad guys. It's very much a, a brown shooter, but it's a fun brown shooter because it's Walk tied in here and shoot all of the dudes. In. See the half shield there? That means that he's not in, in, in entirely good Done. cover. He can still be shot a bit, but it's not, he, he can't be shot that much. You can also shoot over half of the cover. Alright, let's see how this one goes this time now that I've got better plan. Well, I'm getting you guys five miles away. Alright, I don't think that, yeah. Since no shots have been fired and we've killed everybody that's seen us. We're basically Splinter Cell, oh crap, Splinter Cell blacklisting this now. Crap nugget, don't do that. I'm not gonna move them up yet. Done. Roger. Vigi's gonna keep covering that 
central bit. Paige, you're gonna move up behind that guy and shoot him in the back of the head. Miller, you're gonna walk up beside that guy and shoot him in the back of the head. Oh, but I didn't take into account the number two. Who cares? Oh, that guy saw his friend die. Did you succeed in your mission over here of making sure Roger that it. you get shot in the back of the face? Alright, you just look over there while this guy moves over and takes him out. That's a horrible move. Why did I why would I think that's a good idea? Yes, sir. I need to hug the wall on this bitch. Alright, to get him out of cover, we can flashbang him. So let's do that. Quick throw all these guys yes, so that the game registers that as a thing. Alright, you. Flashbang that guy in the face. Alright, he's been flashed and then shot in the face. There are more? Uh, oh, there's probably some of these little adjacent ones. Lovely. Alright, let's push them up. Roger. Freaking finally they can see some action. On it. Paige. Or is there some cover for you in this adjoining room? Nowhere. Alright, so just aim there. Consider it done. Miller. Wasn't that one of the deployments? Probably considering I can't go in there. This is racist music. It's not racist music, it's nice. What if I don't remember which of these rooms I've cleared out. I haven't gone in this one yet. So let's go in there and shoot the dudes in the face. Nobody is in this room. There's one guy right there, there's one guy right there. Alright, but I can't get a good view of the action. Alrighty, hold on. I can't remember how to pan the camera like up and down. Well, watch the action like this. You go up there and execute him. Moving. And poop in the You're face. Done here. You shot the door, but you still killed him, so I'm fine with it. Four stars. Yeah, see, I used the flashbang, so. Okay, 1500 bucks. I should get these guys some new stuff. I'll show you that in a minute, after this next mission. The soldier's accuracy and reaction is at their best when not moving. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I think B and C... I think B and C are the convenient ones because that lets us push through these adjacent rooms. Right, let's go in. Let's go in and see how this goes. Alright, go in, murderize him in the face. Roger. Go in, murderize them in the face. Yes, sir. Paige, just freaking break into this room and aim there. Yeah, the half shield, not good cover. Break into this room and aim there. Check your corners. Yeah, check the corners. Ironically, I'm not doing any of that. Alright, shot them in the face. They didn't know anything. Who have we killed? We haven't killed anybody, really. Oh no, we killed one guy right there. They're still unaware of us. He's very aware of us. That's a bit of a problem. Considering I've got two freaking guys standing right there. Which one of these guys down. isn't in cover? One of these guys ain't in cover and it's annoying me. All right, so you just move in on that cover. Consider it done. Thomas, you're gonna make the risky move and move in on that Stay one. Stay sharp. Paige, you're in good cover. Mark. What about Miller? Miller is in the freaking open. Why did I think that would be a good place for him? If I remember rightly, I had to do this bit with only one troop before. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so, he's dead. We've killed two of the people in this hallway. There's probably a whole slew of people in there. Thomas, you're good. You, you're good. Paige, you have a flashback. So why don't you chuck it there? Flash bang out. Right, that flashed both of those guys. So I could effectively move this guy up there, turn him that way, he got her. Yes, sir. Oh crap, they've recovered and killed both of my guys. That was a horrible idea. Why did I think that would work? And why did I think that that would be a good idea either? Right, this bit of the team is fairly pinned down. 
Oh, but he's covered right next to the doorway there, so that's fine. I'll keep that guy there in a fl I'll keep Alright, the we'll try one more level after this. I've decided I'm not going to try this again afterward, actually. On it. Because I've been recording for a bit of time now, probably. I don't know exactly how long. I don't care exactly yes, how sir. long. Alright, let's just walk up behind that guy and shoot him yes, and then finish the mission. Hi, bro! Oh, that wasn't the end of it. Oh my god, there's this huge area to clear out. <sighs> Alright, lovely. Walk in there, shoot the things. Stay sharp. Rivera, you're right next to a doorway, too. Isn't this where we deployed from? My brain is gone. Got it's it. It's late at night, I'm sorry. <laughs> We at least get a, a cue on what uh, his, there's a guy right there. I can easily walk behind him and kill him with this guy. Roger. Rivera, you do I want to move you into half shield cover? Not really that much better. Considering that. But it has a better viewing view. That was the last guy. There's one more somewhere in this area. He's right there. I see him. I see the last guy. I know who exactly the last guy is. Oh, I know who the last two guys. Okay. Alright, Rivera can push around this way and aim over there. That is useful. Man. Yeah, I'm good. There's one more guy somewhere in this area. And I don't know what what haven't we explored yet. We've been through every room, haven't we? Where could there be one more guy? Probably everywhere, but I just don't know exactly. Alright, I can't really make these guys search through the building. I could try to bring him around back around through one of these rooms. Now that was our breaching room, though. Gah. Right, I'm just gonna push these guys through the building and figure out where this last Duh, guy is. See, if I had owned a UAV, in fact, I'll buy a UAV to show you for the last mission. Now I'm planning phase 19. This feels like it's gonna get boring. Consider it done. On it. Moving. Let's walk through here, cover these entrances. Yeah, this is gonna go on a while since I don't know where this last guy is. So I'm gonna cut to the next mission now. All right, we are back in the main menu. Uh, the, let's go to the marketplace. This is the marketplace, by the way. This is where you buy all of your guys' stuff. What kind of guns can we get them? Can we get them the sniper yet? Yeah, I love buying them the sniper. I'd get the Mark 16, but I don't know if it, I don't think they take attachments, do they? I want to unlock the sniper, but I need 100 freaking stars for that, and I have to pretty much entirely complete the game to do that. So you need 2100 stars for, like, the M4 or whatever. Probably the golden Super Eagle M4 of Sam Fisherness. I don't know. The Memorial. See, if you have pr you do not have, currently have any fallen soldiers, you play with permadeath on your soldiers who die in action will be displayed here. Yeah. Alright, let's buy a UAV. And I'll show you what the UAV does in a Germany level, because these, because Germany has these really open outside levels that are quite interesting, and you need to see them. Oh, this one is especially hard. This will be our finale. Let's use our UAV. This, this one is especially hard and especially annoying, and you'll see why in a moment. Alright, so the UAV will be doing a scan now, so it, sh it can and will detect every single enemy in this arena. Alright, this isn't going to be on the entire game. Do I need to fly it around? Okay, I can. Alright, now I know exactly where everyone in this I'm level is. I run. I can run there. Yeah. And Paige, you can run there. Moving. All right. Now, quick drink while they're moving. 
lovely. Got it. All right, so if I walk him there, and if I walk him Done. there. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the, that game like Factorio. Is that what it's called next? Done. Yeah, it's called Factorio. I'm gonna do that next. It, it looks like a really fun game. I wanna try it out. Alright, these two guys are definitely dead. They are so dead in the face. Oh, okay. Well, these guys are both in this direction, so you just tuck around the corner gently. I don't think they actually know exactly where I am. Oh, Jesus, Jesus! He's just walking right up. Oh, he's, this he he's a heavy guy, isn't he? Yeah, you get these heavy guys. That will, in fact, just kill you because they can, and they will. Done. Hi, bro. I'm gonna die. Yep. He had a shotgun. All right, and on that note, I've had too many soldier deaths. I am going to end that here. Uh, thanks for watching this messed up gamers video. I would love... I will be back soon. Probably... Well, I, I know for a fact I'll be back next Tuesday. Alright, so, from the Messed Up Gamers, goodbye.